My family originally came from up through the Riverland. I have a commercial interest in making sure the rivers are healthy because it means I can continue my production on this farm, but also from a personal reason. I, I mean, I love the river, um, as many growers do in this area. So we're standing on my orchard here at Golden Heights. Um, it's about four hectares that I've planted up here, around about 10 acres of uh, new orchard. And then I really had two options for, for what irrigation I wanted to install rather than the old overhead system. I chose mini sprinklers, you see one of these here, um, that, uh, that give reasonably large coverage across the whole orchard floor. I receive funding for soil development, um, going to a higher, um, a higher intensity orchard system, closer planting, um, going to a modern sprinkler system. Part of that was to install a fertiliser and, and filtration system. Uh, so we've got that running off a solar panel. It's about as automated as you can get for a property of this size. What I'm trying to achieve is a lot more production per megalitre of water so that we can actually be much more efficient about the system. And I think that's probably the motivator for a lot of growers through the Murray-Darling Basin. The benchmark in areas like this used to be 20 to 25 tonnes per hectare of marketable fruit. Well, we're aiming for 45 to 50 tonne um, of fruit per hectare. So I think stewardship of the river goes hand in hand with sustainable agriculture. And now we're seeing areas that were abandoned five years ago now coming back into production. And that's got to be good for rural communities like this one. So it's all about a balance. I think these programs are good um, to meet that balance between environment and, and production well-targeted, well-managed programs to, to raise efficiency certainly should be um, encouraged throughout the whole Murray-Darling Basin.